Hey guys. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not because someone's mowing their lawn right now. But, uh, yeah. So, someone commented in my last video that I talked way too long in my videos and I didn't get straight to the point, which I agree. Uh, so, I just made a couple of staple points that I want to hit today. So, today we're going to be talking about um, homelessness because I watched a video the other day and I commented on it and uh, this veteran was talking about how he was homeless. So, I just wanted to talk about that. Let's just get straight into the video. Me personally, I had, um, I've experienced homelessness, of course, so I slept in my car. And basically, I just wanted to, you know, talk about how that happened and I also wanted to talk about just, it could really just happen to anyone. So, first point, how did I become homeless? Well, I was living with my ex because my grandma died and, you know, I was close to him at that point. We're not together now, but I was close to him at that point in time. So, um, I decided to move in with him since he had an apartment with him and his sister. Um, didn't turn out well. So, um, I turned 18 and I decided to join the army. Uh, one month after that, I, um, got shipped off to basic and we broke up because he didn't want to wait for me. So, when I was in basic, he decided to send me letters and I just wasn't about that. I was like, nope, that's not what we're doing anymore so i came back home i was still living with him and then when i found someone else he didn't like that so he kicked me out um he kicked me out and that day he kicked me out came back to the house and i packed my stuff up and put it out in the trunk of my car and i think i have a clip of that still and i'll probably insert it in here if i found it so yeah i packed all my stuff up and i put it in the trunk of my car and yeah like I pretty much didn't do anything those days because I was only homeless for a, a week but it was rough um because it was this time it was August and it was hot let me tell you it's hot in a car when you have nowhere else to go I had a job at that time I had worked at McDonald's and so I would park in the McDonald's parking lot for I would park in the McDonald's parking lot for hours and I would show up to work pretty much hours early and they would be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, oh, I didn't have anything to do. <laughs> so I came here. So yeah, I would just work extra hours and um, just help um, just help people. So um, I didn't sleep in the McDonald's parking lot. I slept at that um, person I was dating at the times outside his house. and then that wasn't working out anymore because his family was like no so yeah i had to find somewhere else to park so i just found really pretty much random parking lots just the randomness of parking lots like mcdonald's or grocery stores or pretty much anything that didn't have a cop circling around at night and i didn't really get that um much sleep because I had a crack in the window and I didn't want anyone to break in my car or in you know just kidnap me or anything like that so I was just always on the high alert um so it was one day where I was at work and I was just you know chilling and um my friend of mine he was like hey where are you what you doing and you know we met up at my job so we were talking and then you know of course I broke down because I'm emotional sometimes and a little sensitive and I told him everything that was going on and he um texted his sister I knew his sister from you know and we just hung out hung out you know sometimes and I knew her and uh she had three kids and um she said I could live with her and so yeah that's what I did I lived with her and it was it went pretty good um So, yeah, when was it? It happened um, this time last year, exactly, literally a year ago from this month, it happened. Um, so, of course, now I live with my family. Um, but, yeah, really, um, homelessness can happen to anyone, literally. And it's sad because it mainly happens to veterans or people in the military. 
um not to mention i did ask for help um i went to my unit and i tried to get help but they they don't do housing or anything like that and um i didn't really think of a homeless shelter or you know anything like that because i was also scared of getting my stuff stolen um so yeah and i also tried getting you know um maybe housing at my school but it's a community college so they don't have housing and i try you know staying with my friends and everything like that so yeah um it was just it was art and it literally can happen to anyone you can go broke and you can go homeless and they can take your stuff or you can just i mean you can get kicked out of your your residence that you're loving now and y'all don't you have problems with that person they kick you out anything can that was my name so yeah anything can happen so i would just i would just say never get too comfortable like it's fun to get comfortable don't just don't get too comfortable oh homelessness will never happen to me oh i'll never go broke or this will not happen because it can happen to anyone but i mean it was hard to bounce back but i'm getting there luckily i have you know some good people in my life and you know i'm here now in a better way better position than i was before so yeah guys that's just what i wanted to talk to you guys about um also yes i cut my hair and <laughs> i'll uh talk to you guys later thank you for watching if y'all stuck this far thanks <laughs> just like comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks bye Y'all never realize how much shit you have until you have to pack it up. Like, seriously, you never know how much shit. Damn, got this too. <sighs>